welcome back to the mystery box meat grinder. <laughs> Doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And I always come in like, <laughs> and then I leave. So dramatic. Anyways, so welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hope you stick around, hit that subscribe button, super sideways. We, it's we, it's Wednesday. We're gonna be opening up another mystery box. Uh, this one is Boom Loot. I feel like I've ordered from them before. I don't know if I ever opened it up on camera, but we got one to go through the mystery box meat grinder. <sighs> That's just gonna be the way it has to be said now. <laughs> but anyways, before we even get into the box, you know, decided to get a link tree. So all of my information is now under one link. How convenient, I know. This is not a sponsored ad. But uh, instead of 10 links down below, you guys can click that one and virtually find me anywhere on the internet. So feel free to do that if you wanna show some support. And as always, I will have the box information down below if you guys want to check them out, purchase one, don't, either way, it'll be there. So I'm excited because it's not, you know, it's not the usual that we go through. So who knows? We're going to go through the rating system, all five beautiful points, and let's see what we got. All right. So... If you are not familiar with our rating system so far, we have three, company, three companies that have gone through it, right? Yeah, Nerdy Newt, Jay Navo, and Toy USA, and I will leave their scores over there for you. But this is gonna be number four. Technically, there are two boxes inside, but this is Boom Loot's uh, 50, it was about $52 a box, not including shipping, uh, two pops a box, and I will insert, uh, El Photo there so you can see what possible, you know, pulls were, but I'm excited. They are number four to go through the rating system for the mystery meat, mystery meat. See, when you, you mess it up like that, uh, through the mystery box meat grinder. All right, oh. these are sorters. Oh, oh, okay. So each one of these is considered one box. Um, getting back to my point, if you are not familiar with our rating system, one overall value, we always hope to get our value back. Unless it's a grail or fail, I mean, then it's, it's grail or fail. The title says it all. So you really can't be disappointed if you don't in fact get your value. Uh, number two is overall wow factor. Am I excited about the pops? Are they, you know, pops that nobody wants? I mean, either or. I always like to keep something or want to keep something from mystery boxes, but you know, very far and few in between. I have a very specific collection now, but um, number three would be condition of pops. So making sure that, you know, unless it's a damaged run, they should pretty much be an 8.5 or higher. Little wear and tear is fine. Maybe a small little flaw or two, okay, but anything more that I feel like you should be either letting people know or putting it in, you know, in the run, just a damaged run. Uh, number four is how rare to recently released are we looking at? So is this something that just came out? Can I go to Target and buy it? Or is this something that you wouldn't normally find in, you know, either just a regular collection or on the stores at Target, GameStop, whatever. And <laughs> number five, we have added in shipping. For the most part, anybody that I order from like ships pretty well, but you know, in the event, gotta let them know. Uh, either way, these look, I mean, these look fine. The, the, I can't, I freaking speak. 
these look fine the box they came in wasn't really banged up so i think we're gonna be okay as far as receiving any shipping damage so one box out of two sticker off and unwrap all right so this is one let's see what we got hoping to at least get 104 dollars between the both of these so we're aiming for around 50 bucks not including shipping again guys i just want to throw this out there you cannot include shipping when you're calculating the value of a box shipping is the cost it takes or the cost of of you receiving that box that is not included in value you can't include that so just just letting you know all right first one out of two no idea star wars <laughs> Our fave. All right, we got Canaan, Canaan. <laughs> All right. Um, he's a cool looking dude. I really like the pedestals that like these little things come on. Most of the Star Wars pops, I really, I really do enjoy those. But all right, this is dis. Is it Disney? Am I just? knowing that now I feel like I've never I never knew that anyways this is ooh, 2016 this is a minty pop okay I mean yeah no idea on value we will do that after all right second pop in box number one Ooh, dopey. It's like a weird dopey. <laughs> I have never actually, I feel like I had one of the Snow White characters um, once upon a time, but I never really get these. That's cool. Dopey Chase from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. He is one of the Seven Dwarves. Dopey, okay. Uh, 2017. All right. Disney. Oh, I'm liking the Disney. I don't know. I mean, I'm definitely not going to start watching Star Wars because of that, but I like the Disney. I feel like Disney pops are harder nowadays to, uh, come across. All right. This one was pretty minty. This one's pretty good. It's got a teeny little Nick on the back, which I mean, that's still like a 9.8. All right, box number one, Dopey and Canan. All right, so we will open box number two and then we will go through value. By the way, if you didn't notice, these are like, I didn't even know they made these and I'm sure if you, if you tried hard enough, you could still hurt yourself, but one, I like that it automatically goes down. And two, it's not like an actual like razor blade. We know I don't need to be holding those. It's like a plastic blade almost. I like it. Safer. <laughs> All right, here we go. Box number two, first pop. That glare was horrible. Couldn't even. All right, see a big Marvel sticker. Black Panther Target. All right, 2018. And that's that. All right. Oh, he's got a little right on the head down there. Hmm. Not horrible. Not horrible. I would still consider that an 8.5, honestly. It's not even, it's not like. I mean, you can't even really see it, but <laughs> thankfully we have the light. All right, not bad. Black Panther, you know how I feel about Marvel, DC, and all that good stuff. But cool, definitely as well. Why, I totally, literally forgot we were opening mystery boxes for a split second. <laughs> Welcome back. 
I'll drop it. Wonder Woman uh, Funko Shop limited edition 2017 i feel like i just just sold this one but okay cool i mean dc and marvel are definitely popular so even though we're not really rating boxes on reseller point of view but i will always give it to you i mean i don't think i will have a problem selling any of these feeling all warm inside already all right as you know we do every mystery box video almost just missed the desk we are gonna go in value them and i'll be back all right we are back with my spaghetti arm and value ha. so we are gonna go through our rating system and very first we are gonna start with value of the boxes so we spent total I think it was like 105 and some change or 108 maybe after like taxes or something so around like 105 110 110 <laughs> around 105 110 is what we are you know hoping to get around and we did in fact um i'm actually really happy with these two boxes and boom Lu in general right now but this beautiful guy we'll start with the first box this one was the first one we popped out <laughs> he's 48 dollars, and ppg actually said that he went down seven so he was a little bit higher when it was packed no big deal i mean this is almost just the value of one and this cute little guy i don't know why i feel like i would have expected him to be maybe a little bit more but 26 dollars. so total of 74 dollars with the first box this wonder wonder woman wonderful woman is 42 dollars and this dude is 19 i believe which makes that a total of 61 dollars and i mean that is overvalue as well it's 52 dollars a box basically 51.95 and total we did 135 guys i would say that that is definitely over value not even including shipping so i mean all in all i'm feeling pretty good um overall wow not too crazy um these are definitely not i mean pops you see every day and this dude was kind of exciting dopey he's cute i like these pops um am i gonna keep anything no but definitely not horrible on like the wow factor um second i mean condition was pretty fine uh, i think it was black panther that had the crease on the side but again all in all overall condition i would still give them like a nine nine point five they were really pretty minty pops uh and then our final you know number five would be shipping and i mean the boxes got here perfectly fine they are all nice no shipping damage however there was no bubble wrap so i feel like if it did get kicked around they might not have arrived as safely but they did so that's what we will pay attention to very happy with the box the value so okay so i know we want some ratings Maybe, maybe you don't care at all, but either way, um, if you do, I honestly think for the value, the condition, again, there's a very light crease, but it's really not much. Honestly, I think I'm going to give them a 9.2 was a pretty good box i'm feeling pretty good with the 9.2 i don't want to get too crazy because we got to leave room for like these amazing boxes but this is a pretty good box i i can't really say much else about it um thank you boomu and i hope you enjoyed your score if you see this if not well I'm, that's fine too but uh definitely a box i would get again definitely probably gonna buy from them um maybe a few more times we'll see but if you guys want to check them out if you guys want to try them out for yourselves i will leave their information linked down below as well and 
Um, probably tomorrow, I'm going to be dropping a mystery box myself. A little grail or fail, a little cheapy. And, I mean, you're just going to have to go on my IG and give me a follow to find out the information. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed another Wednesday mystery box video, which I think it's really going to be, like, mystery box meat grinder. I don't think I'm really harsh. I think I'm pretty generous with my scores. But I'm sure we're going to get a box, and we're not going to be so excited about it. Until then, pretty pumped. This was box number four. Stay tuned next Wednesday for another box in our rating system, in our meat grinder. But thank you guys for watching. And don't forget, next Wednesday, I also have my next auction. So check that out. All information is linked down below, like I say, 15 times. And that's pretty much that. But I love you guys so much, and I appreciate you.